I heard that. Welcome back, and we're back. You're back. We're back, back. Clint Westwood. The band was formed after Clint was released from a health and holistic well-being enforcement camp last year, where he is said to have heard the Braben himself whisper to him about Raxla and its whereabouts. Raxla, of course, is the legendary, nay, mythical system slash stargate slash restaurant at the end of the universe that commanders have searched for now for years. Clint is said to know where Raxla is, but is unable to say or express this due to heavy corrective treatments carried out on him at the facility. Clint's only quote on the whole situation is, which fans have been translating into binary code and spectral analyzing for hidden content. He also wore a t-shirt on his tour that simply said, You heard the man, two minutes, people, two minutes. Look up, look up, Hudson, come here, come Next, here. The What's that? Apparently there is no weather in space, so, um, ads. Time for some ads. Oi, how you doing, my brother? So you run some data, and you left your little sidey, and you're starting to think about maybe a ship that can punch a little bit harder. Well, the killback, the one with the little flappy wings, okay. is just I what the dogs are all doing. It is multi-crew enabled, and is the smallest ship with a fighter bait. So you can point, and they will do your bidding. Stuff like that, old Jordan and the best I can. I'm in Whatever you want to do, I've got you, mate. compartments. Yeah. So if you want a bit of fun, grab a killback, my son. Welcome to Elite Dangus, 
Hello everyone, 07, and, and welcome. Uh, and you might uh, be like, what the hell is this on the screen, uh, Spatula? Well, it, it's because, uh, you know, I, I heard there was a, um, you know, don't boot the game uh, until you're uh, uh, live because there's a little thing. So, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, last week, I was in Mexico all week. That's why I got the little sombrero down there in the corner. Um, so I pretty much missed out on all this azimuth. Uh, conclusion, the firing of the Proteus cannon, etc. Um, did a little bit of research and catch up last night, but um, this is going to be real interesting and I can't wait to get into it. Um, but I'm going to boot up Odyssey and we're going to see, there's going to be a very, uh, I think, special, um, you know, special um, uh, uh, situation. So let, let's, uh, Let's boot up Odyssey here. Let's let's see what happens. Hey, what up? And by the way, how you doing? And Anthony and, and Tigger and I can't I, I, I can't say the name. W what, what up, mate? <laughs> and loot. How you doing? Um, we only have 14 hours to save the earth. Uh oh. What happened? Uh oh. What, what what's is it that bad? Okay, well let's let's boot it up. Let's see what happens and you know, th this might be interesting. Let, let's boot it up. Okay, here we go. We're doing some some Odyssey cutscenes. Let's get let's get into this. Let's see what happens. There might be something interesting. No spoilers. I'm not saying anything. Let's see here. Yeah, just just a normal day booting into Odyssey. Do a big deal. Just, you know, open play. What? What's this? I don't know what this is. Attention all humans. I, I mean my fellow humans. It is I, Salvation speaking. Hello, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. Anyway, today is a pretty important day. For we are on the verge of the largest bug fix this galaxy has ever seen. Yes, CQC will no longer crash all of the time. But also, today you will see the work that I have been doing. Yes, I alone. With literally no one's help, and certainly no CGs, just these two massive hands of mine, and like 500 years of body mutilation on unwilling human experiments, will culminate in my life's work. For today, my Proteus wave will fire and wipe out the Thargoid menace once and for all, so that we can all go back to PvP and trade CGs. Today, the next chapter in our history begins. Please turn to page 3308 of your codexes. Proteus Wave is now waving, Captain. Thargoid base lighting is at optimal discotech levels. Um, I'm detecting a jar of marmalade in the Proteus Wave. Is that supposed to be there? Jerry, did you leave your marmalade in the super weapon? The Thargoids are coming! The Thargoids are coming! And they look angry. Uh, guys, this is Jerry. I, I think I left my marmalade in the Proteus Wave. Uh, Marmalade is definitely there, but we have to fire now. Guys, we're broadcasting to all of humanity right now. This is kind of a big moment for me. Fire the weapon! Surf is up! I repeat, surf is up! Okay, uh, Proteus Wave has crested. The Proteus Wave did the thing. Okay, it looks like the Thargoids are dead. Great job, everyone! And that is how you do a genocide. Uh, we don't use the G word or the X word, please. This is salvation side. Let's keep on brand, please. Well, it looks like it worked. Uh, victory! Yay! Guys, there's, there's a problem down here. My, my marmalade seems to be pulsating. Uh, I'm picking up marma waves from the surface up here. This isn't supposed to happen. Uh, salvation? Um, I just remembered I left the stove on in my anaconda in Shinrata Desra. I have to go now. Guys, the, that was really expensive marmalade. I, I don't know where I'm going to find more. Oh no, the Thargoids are waking up! It didn't work! 
Jerry, this is all your fault. You and your stupid marmalade. Hey, don't don't call my marmalade stupid. I didn't call your homemade preserve La stupid. Bella. You're stupid. I swear, Jerry, if the Thargoids were murdering us right now, I would come down there and kick your butt to move it. Scene with some great voice acting so uh all right all right all right <laughs> all right i i i so <laughs> i uh i got back for, so okay so here's the backstory is uh okay here we go let's get rid of all this crap uh how you doing guys <laughs> there's a little special uh you know special intro for you folks uh let's get some music here um, hopefully, hopefully the audio was all good on that because uh, I did not, uh, I did not hear that myself. Uh, but yeah, I hear um, the Proteus wave malfunction. I think there might have been some marmalade jamming up the sensors. Uh, anyway, oh look at that, we're 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 here just in time for the fleet carrier to jump. Unfortunately, we're going to be uh, stuck down in the hangar. Uh, but yeah, so uh, last week I was in Mexico all week um, and kind of like you know keeping an eye on the phone. I dropped my phone in the pool on like day two. Uh, I had to go get a new phone, uh, which was kind of like panic. Oh no, what have I done? Um, and so the new phone was like really crappy. I still have it. It's still very crappy. Um, but I was like kind of trying to keep track of what was going on while still, you know, kind of diving in cenotes and going snorkeling and all that stuff. It was my first time in Mexico. Um, very eager to get back though, because obviously it's been a big week for Elite Dangerous. This has been um, quite quite the event so far. It's it, I don't know, uh, Dark Heavy. You've been uh, you've been to this uh, HIP system? No, no, I haven't. Uh, I've been raiding bases everywhere else because okay. everyone else is in HIP two two four six zero. So I'm just stealing their shit. Right, right. Well, uh, yeah. So. Obviously, the Proteus wave has fired, and yeah, I'm going to put that video out um, after the stream, but thought it'd be a fun way to start it off, give you guys a sneak preview. I literally got home at, at like 10, 10 p.m. last night. I was up till 4 in the morning just cutting that together. I just took the trailer and then basically had to recreate all the audio for it. So I had to like download different sound effects and stuff. It was kind of fun. It was a very uh, uh, a quick hack job, but it was fun. Um, anyway, but so what happened? The Proteus wave fired, um, the Thargoid shut down, and then the, something happened that woke them back up, and the tables have apparently been turned. So I've been hearing little bits and pieces about what's going on. Apparently there's some new mysteries that have been added, uh, and today we're going to check that out. Um, starting, of course, with, um, you know, the Proteus wave site itself. Um, let's see what's going on in that system. Let's see what's uh, changed post-Proteus in a post-Proteus era. Um, and then we'll, we'll, you know, we'll see what we see. So we're jumping about 30 seconds. But, um, yeah, if you guys are, are around, I am in open, so feel free to uh, join up. Uh, come on board the Danga bus. We'll be, we'll be heading there. We're, we're, we're currently at Ham Station. Um, <laughs> but we'll be heading over there. But yeah, Mexico was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, could have picked worse timing, though, in terms of, like, oh, my God, biggest update in Elite in years. Like, really, this is the kind of update that I've been waiting for since the launch of Odyssey is, you know, something happening. And something's happening! Ah! Uh, what is my... What a dark matter. What is my ship on the go for tonight? Well, I'm starting by flying the Dangatron 9000, which is my Xeno Fighton Crate Mark II. It's got, uh, let's see here. Well, you can't really see the modules when you're when you're jumping, unfortunately. When you're when you're jumping, apparently the the, the power usage of the carrier just is too much for the, even the ship computers to work. But um, this is my Xeno fighting ship. Um, it, it served me well in the uh, the lead up to the uh, climax of the Asma Saga, fighting off Thargoids. So I figure, well, if uh, there's going to be Thargoids in there, we're going to need a Thargoid fighting ship. Um, though I, I'm not real okay, so let me put it this way. I've seen screenshots, and I don't know if these are like photoshops or what, but something green in the system? 
I mean, I'm, well, we're going to see it. We're going to see it with our own two eyes and then determine what the heck is going on and do some mystery investigations. Uh, all right, so we should be just launching in here. So I found a nearby parking spot. Parking in this area, man, it is it is kind of packed. It takes a while to find a parking zone, but um, once you do, everything's good. So first of all, let's just look at the system map, see if there's anything different here. Okay, so are those moons still permit-locked? Okay, they are. Okay. Bright Sentinel's still there. Okay, that's good. What about the other one? The Heart of the Taurus. Yeah, that's still there too. And I guess the capital ships don't show up on system map. Anything different about, like, the description here? Did it say, like, this is the location on the Proteus Cannon? No? No? No, okay. So, doesn't seem like much has changed here. Well, let's uh, we'll head towards the Bright Sentinel first, I guess. What up, Commander Boomy? Uh, but yeah, if you're curious about the ship build, I got charred cannons, plasma chargers, charred cannons, and then remote flak, and then all the all the you know the trappings of a of a true Xeno um, uh, Xeno fighting ship, you know. Actually, ooh, that reminds me, by limpets. Let's do the limpets. Don't forget your limpets. Limpets, the most important, the lifeblood of humanity. And don't forget to lose all of the Guardian technology, because as soon as you jump into system, they will be rendered invalid. So I heard something about that. I kind of want to see what goes on. I, I do have Guardian weapons. Are those did, When you say Guardian technology, does that include the weapons? Or is it just like the power uh, module or whatever? From what I've been reading, I've not been into HIP 22460, but everyone's going like, yeah, anything Guardian related, if you go in system, it corrodes or is overly expensive to repair because it corrodes so quickly. Some, something along those lines. Well, we're going to find out. Commander Boomy says the coins are very hostile in that system now. I mean... They, they weren't they weren't super friendly uh, before when you know the whole war was happening but uh, I wonder what super hostile means now well we're gonna find out I mean it's one thing you know I, I watched a little bit of uh, uh, down to earth astronomy and ghost Raft. they did a little stream the other day and I watched like little clips of it and um, they were kind of I guess the, there's a new relic and we'll get into that later and oh, oh hold on I'm being hyperdicted of course of course I am of course, as you're trying to get into the big, bad, scary, hostile system, you're gonna get hyperdicted. Okay, boosty boost. Is this what we mean by like they're more hostile now? Okay, so flight assist off, and go and go and go. Let's see if we can just uh, outrun these guys. Ooh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, camera mode. Let's see. Do we have new Thargoids? Or have the Thargoid motherships shown up? That's my, that's my big theory. Is um, we're gonna get a new type of Thargoid, or um, perhaps something with the Guardians? Okay, where are these goody boys? You hyperdick me and then you leave me. It's a classic case of hit and run. These Xenos have no respect. No respect, I tell you. Yeah, where the heck are they? Okay, well. If you're not interested, then I will just continue my jump if I could be allowed to do so. All right. Uh, if you have a guardian pacemaker, you die. <laughs> Can you imagine that guardian uh, uh, augments for like your suit and stuff like that, like guardian space legs? Because apparently the guardians had very interesting uh, physiology. If you read the Ramta logs, if you go deep, deep into the lore. Actually, I don't know. Have the, have the Ramta logs and the Guardians, have they made it to the Codex yet? I haven't looked at my Codex in a while. Alright. Here we go. We should be able to get in now. Oh, I forgot I have a field neutralizer. I could have avoided all that. But alright. We are here in Thargoid land. And, okay. Everything seems okay. The UI is kind of screwy. That might be EDHM. I know that after these updates, or maybe not. I don't know. This this actually looks like a like a thing. Because they've used to with EDHM. Sometimes your HUD screws up, especially after an update. They have to kind of internal damage. Okay. Um, where? Oh no! 
Yeah, so my guardian weapons are just like going down. 63% and, and, and falling. So that's what they mean. Okay. So it doesn't just instantly conk you out, they just immediately start the attrition. Oh no, my module reinforcements! They might shoot my PP. Um, okay, so maybe... I guess AX weapons are not uh, affected? So maybe that's how we fight the Thargoids again, which is kind of a step back. Which it makes you wonder, are we going to have to have more grind to unlock new sets of weapons? Oh god, please no. Please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, Papa Braben. Oh yeah, so that's the other big news, is um, Braben is stepping aside? I don't know, like, stepping down, stepping to the side, stepping backwards. He's going from CEO to president and founder. <clears throat> Some other dude's going to be the CEO of Frontier now, and I don't know what that means or what the implications are, but that's a pretty big, that's a pretty big move. Basically, uh, you know, salvation... Oh, yeah, here we go. So all my guardian weapons now don't work. Interesting. So, that's no good. Alright, well maybe we can fix them up at the Bright Sentinel. If it's still there. Ooh, okay, so hold on. We got... Small debris fields, large debris fields, those are new. I don't remember debris fields here before. Part of Taurus, and it's like... Okay, come on UI, don't, don't be like that. So the capital ships are st still here. If I, what is this paramount? I don't remember a paramount. Okay, things are really screwy here. Um, this is interesting. Okay. Any contacts? We got uh, FSD wakes. It's probably just another commander. Oh, can I cash in my community goals? Or I guess that was at the Mushashi. Where, where did I place? Top fifty percent. Woo! Gave me. All right, let's see what's going on with this Bright Sentinel. And I'm also kind of curious, I think the Proteus, the Bright Sentinel was above the planet with the Proteus wave. So maybe, I don't know, it looks like it's permit locked. Um, so I don't know if we'll be able to go down there. But we'll see. I know there was that one commander who uh, managed to launch an SRV from the one planet to the other one. And then they permit locked the other moon. And I'm like, ah, oh, damn. Because if if they didn't know, if that if that guy had just like not talked about it, it might have been still possible. Uh, oh, hold on. Yeah, there's something down there. Hold on. There's a big shiny on the planet. Is that the Proteus cannon? Okay. Oh, so this this must be the thing from the screenshots that I keep seeing. Oh, that's not photoshopped. Oh, hello, pretty. Ooh. Hey, what's that? There's an interesting lens flare. Is that is that a code? Whoa! It's like a galaxy. It's like uh, someone put the uh, the map room to maximum. I didn't know that thing goes up to eleven. Whoa! Okay, can I go down here? This is cool. Oh, that's big. Oh my. Uh, unknown in hazardous environment detected. Access restricted. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Okay. That's that's a cool update. Have you seen are you seeing this dark heavy? Oh, yes, oh. I'm marveling at it right now. Oh my god. This would probably look great if it was on the night side too. But that's interesting, yeah, the lens flare, I don't know, is there something in that lens flare? They've hidden signals in audio before, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if they hid, like, Morse code in the lens flare. I see, like, two bars, two bars, dash, two bars, dash, two dots, dash, 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 dash. What's the meaning of this? Is that the marmalade? It's spilled everywhere, well the marmalade is, is everywhere. Yeah. And it doesn't mean anything unless you convert it into hexadecimal anyway, so <laughs> why, why bother? Just have another piece of toast with marmalade on it. Yeah. Oh no, I, so I just launched into my Guardian fighter. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just passed right through my ship. Uh, yeah, my health is like deteriorating very quickly. 
Uh, let's see if I can get down. I wonder if you just keep going straight. No, you're gonna hit like uh, exclusion zone or something, right? Hey, what's that noise? Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we gotta go, any boy. So maybe the fighters don't start deteriorating until you launch them. Maybe that's a way to energy energy surge. Uh oh. Oh hi. Oh, oh hi. Um. Oh no. Oh no. Oh um, yes. F. Loot. Get ready with the capital F. Uh, hold on. Where'd he go? Don't tell me he's going after my mothership. Um, Mr. Thargoid? That's so pretty! I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, nice. Um, okay, are we online again? Yep, we're good. Um, okay. It looks like it was another hit and run. Uh, Mr. Goid? I don't know where he went. I'm not complaining, though. All right, let's see if we can get down there. Oh, this would be so cool to walk around in. Can you imagine? Maybe that's phase two. I don't know. I mean, with with, with um, update 13, obviously, there were a lot of other cool things. Little bug fixes, like the CQC bug fix, which, uh, you know, Salvation mentioned in his big uh, announcement. Yeah, that's cool. Thargoid, Thargoid boy just like splooshed me and, and ran away. Um, but yeah, so so there's supposed to be like this other big narrative update coming. So I wonder if this is kind of like phase one, and then phase two is going to be like Odyssey something. Wait, warning, ship under attack. Wait, uh oh. Okay, I think he, the Goity boy might be attacking my ship. He is. He is. We must protect the mothership. Ah. Okay, hold on. Do I not have guns? Do I have guns? Do I have guns? It doesn't matter. You've got billions in the bank, so forget the mothership. Ooh. Just Ooh. head to the surface. This is true. Okay. We're gonna... Oh, wait. Energy surge again? Uh... Field neutralizers? You can't hurt me. Okay. 68% all. It's not bad. Eat my dust, Thargoid. Now this crate is fast, but I think we're against a basilisk here, and those are the apparently the fast Thargoids. Where'd he go? Yeah, so you can see kind of like from the engine tails, the, I am like, uh, I think, bouncing off the exclusion zone. I don't know if this is a... Uh, this is gonna work. Like, let's look at the altom altometer here. 103 kilometers. Do I make any progress? No. No. Where is Goity Boy? Where are you, boy? Oh, there he is. Okay, maybe he doesn't want to follow me down there. Maybe there's... Th so, here's the question is, what do you think... Oh, hi. That's a... That's a swarm. So, one thing that was interesting, too, is during the, um... I guess the war... Uh, the little Thargoid combat zones, like, the swarms were not working uh, properly. I don't know if it was an AI bug or if that was, like, intended just to make it a little bit easier. But, oh, let me go down there. This looks so freaking cool. Oh, I like this. Yeah, this is new. This is new. More of this Frontier. I mean, this is, this is the, the art department and the sound department of Frontier always uh, never failed to delight. It looks so shiny. Frameshift anomaly detected. Another one? Okay. Um, maybe we go. <laughs> what are you? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's just the Thargoid. Well, kind of. Oh, no. Another energy surge. Are you serious? Okay. Field neutralizer. Info now! Haha! -ha! I'm actually getting the hang of that thing. For the longest time, I was like, how the heck do I... How do you time this field, field neutralizer? And you gotta do it, like, somewhere between energy surge detected and then actually shooting you. Is that a scout? Oh, it's a little scout. A little scouty boy. Okay, I think probably... It looks like there's a lot of things on my radar. It might be time to go. go. Let's go away. Oh, hi. Um... Don't mind me, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a space tourist. 
I'm sorry about fighting you people earlier. It was just, it was only for science. And, and money, and modules. Community goals, you know. Do you guys have community goals in the Thargoid community? I don't know. What's their deal? Alright, let's go back to Super Cruise. Let's check out the Bright Sentinel. While we're still alive. I don't have anything in my cargo, right? Okay, good. Just limpets. Always worried about losing them. But interesting. Okay, so you can fly the Guardian ships. They just slowly, slowly degrade. But, I mean, I mean, you got you got a ton of them. Like, how many... You get, yeah, eight fighters per bay, and I've got two bays, so that's like 16 fighters. I got tons of inventory. But how cool is that looking? Oh, me, oh, my. Wow, okay, get the side profile. It looks like a sombrero. A giant alien sombrero. Oh, that looks so super cool. I like you. Ooh. Are there any more of these? Are they multiplying? Now the question is, um, okay, the Thargoids are trying to kill us here. What about the what about the commanders? Are there gankers in the system? There's always gankers in the system. Especially when you're in open. You just gotta just gotta be careful. Alright, well what's going on at the Bright Sentinel? Oh boy. Oh me. I don't think I've seen a um, destroyed big ship like this before. Interesting. Wait. I'm like, did it have two sections? I can't remember what it looked like before, but I guess it's kind of broken down the middle right now. Ooh, ooh. Ship log uplink, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's scan that. What secrets will you tell me? And the ship log uplink, is that even on the ship? No, it's just like floating in space. Oh yeah, this is cool. All right, data link. What can you tell me about this ship? Uh, ooh, transcribing, excerpt. I can't read it because of the damn UI. Okay, having re reviewed reports of the Proteus site systems, I'm delighted to, to see that all re results are within optimal parameters. Quite a feat given that this is a unique weapon never before seen by humanity, well, the Marmalade Cannon, uh, which incorporates mechanisms from two alien races. The Guardian technology is remarkable, so versatile in application. I believe we have merely scratched the surface of its capability. Uh, I can't read this with all the stuff. Okay, hold on. I hear a noise. Uh, what else we got here? Configurable components. Oh, there's more ship log uplinks. Hold on a second. Oh, energy search! Uh, um, I may have cocked this up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I guess is this kind of like anywhere that you are here, the goids are going to come in and mess with your day? Oh, how cool is that? This is what we've all been waiting for. Oh, no, 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 no! I'm going to smack into the Bright Sentinel. Okay. Oh, 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 ship's back online. Uh, come on, reboot, reboot, reboot! Okay, use the Bright Sentinel as cover. We must find all the shiplets. Encrypted correspondence. Interesting, so maybe if you bring those to uh, a search and rescue, maybe you'll find secrets. There are definitely probably many mysteries added to the game from this update. Okay, so how about I scan this? No, 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 not flak. Okay, we must scan all the ship uplinks. And I'm assuming uh, there will be more ship log uplinks at the other uh, mega ship. Okay, maybe we'll, we'll scan them and then we'll read them when we are in the safety of Super Cruise. Or maybe we can just at least get this HUD to... Okay, why can't I fly proper? I think the Thargoids are affecting my piloting skills. That's my excuse. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. They do not waste any time. Yeah, they, they have definitely gotten more... Oh no, they keep coming. So this is like a thing now. Uh, okay. Uh, can we just scan this thing before we die at least? What happened? Oh no, they shot my pee pee. No! No, 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 no! I didn't mean it! I also fed you people! 
Oh no! Okay. Um, interesting. Interesting. Uh, okay. Well, that's more dangus. I like it. Okay, where am I, where am I gonna spawn? Do I get to go back to the Dango bus? Is that even the Dango bus? I think it is. Hopefully, it doesn't like spawn me on uh, Thargoid territory. Okay, so okay, we are back on the Dango bus. Excellent. Okay, so <coughs> Guardian stuff doesn't work. So maybe my AX fighter is not the ship for this. Maybe I need something faster. What do we got? Here I go with my Mach 5 Imperial Eagle. I feel like that's too fragile. Ooh, the Binda Viper. This is my very fast Viper. Uh, you can see here it goes uh, 711 boost speed. But it has like nothing on it. And a Guardian Hall reinforcement, which I'll have to take off. Mm, maybe I could try my Courier. Again, I'd probably have to disable my uh, Guardian stuff, but this could be... Yeah, I think I'm going to go with my Courier. Hey, what up, Valor? Uh, yeah, we have found the Angry Pansies, and they are very, very uh, angry. Um, this is interesting. So there are, uh, it looks like ship log uplinks at the uh, deceased Bright Sentinel. Um, so by the way, also, when you log in, um, you get this guy here. Um, just a little noticing, like, everyone is basically, like, evacuating this thing, like... Don't go there unless you are, uh, um, no, don't go there. <laughs> um, and then these are because I was bad while trying to get some tritium. Okay, so, where did I get to? I had the chance to speak with Salvation, uh, only briefly, and only to clarify specific aspects of the Porteous Wave's function. There is a magnetism to the man's demeanor. Uh, this person's got the hots for Salvation. Hey, what up, Brian White? 07. Scan debris fields also. Okay, okay. We're going to scan everything. Um, he is ancient, of course, and where is his years holy? What does that mean? He's, he's like, really old, but he, he's got a, you know, youthful vigor in his step. Uh, but Salvation gave me his full attention for perhaps 30 seconds, and I admit to feeling intimidated by his focus. I wouldn't want his attention, that's for sure. Then my question answered, he moved on. Not a moment wasted on pleasantries. Understandable. There is far too much to do, of course. Okay, so there are... Lo there is lore to be found. Um, let's just do some slight modifications of the ship. So apparently, these guardian things don't work, and they just screw up my uh, UI, making it very difficult to read, considering I'm already Ill illiterate anyway. Um, what should I bring? Okay. Uh, SRVs. Yeah, why not? Cargo rack. Yeah. Should I bring limpets? Maybe recon limpets. Research limpets? I'm going to bring research limpets. And do I have recon limpets? I don't. Oh, I do. Yeah, why not? Recon and research. That's the name of the game today. Figuring out what the heck is going on. Uh, that all looks fine. Whatever. Uh, no guardian stuff. Okay, we got a couple scarabs. Wait, what is the top speed of my current ship? By oh, the way, I'm so happy they fixed this thing. Where now, like, you're in the menu, and then you can go look at your menu. Like, like thank you, Frontier, for, for fixing that. Um, what is my top speed? Where do I see my top speed? Should it not be there? Oh, whatever. I'll find out my top speed when I boost away. And limpets. Wow. So this is this is quite a game changer. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with uh, the fact that this is a real game changer. Like... When Frontier was talking about, like, oh yeah, we're so stoked for the end of the Azimuth Saga, it's gonna be, like, this crazy conclusion, I was thinking, like, okay, a trade CG, a Galnet article. <laughs> that's, what they, that's what they usually get excited about. Okay, so top speed is, like, four, five hundred, mm, probably not enough to outrun a Basilisk. I think you need 550 uh, to outrun those bad boys. But it'll probably be better than my uh, my crate. At least I don't have the Guardian stuff uh, dragging me down. But wow, that planet looks freaking cool. I like it. I really, really like it. It's so pretty. 
Alright, if you are, um, if you do want to front, uh, do you want to, do you want to send you a squatty, a squatty invite? Dark Tavi, I'll send you an invite. You gonna come out here? Brave, brave the Dangus? Bring your, bring your best Revi? <laughs> I'll do the best I can under the circumstances. Yeah, I think I am maybe a couple of jumps away from you. No one's gonna judge, no one's gonna judge, uh, how many times you die in this system, I'm sure. Uh, they're going to be judging me. <laughs> How's it do? Warning, hazardous environment. Okay, am I still going to get UI glitches? I look to be getting some UI glitches. I don't have Guardian stuff. Or do I? Did I forget something? No. Is it because my engine color is cyan and that's like a Guardian color scheme? It's like anything that is the Guardian branding. Yeah, it seems like that. Yeah, I guess maybe the ships are just screwed up in general. Though I guess um, that is consistent with when we first encountered the Thargoids. They do kind of like screw up our AI or our, our um, ship computers. So there are also huge debris fields. Okay, so I want to check out the capital ships. I want to check out the mega ships. I want to scan the logs. What up, Raymobula07? I want to scan the logs, see the capital ships, check out these debris fields. Um, there's a lot to do, man. And this is just the beginning, because uh, I've also heard something where if you take Guardian Relics, which I, to be honest, I only have one in my carrier, so we're going to have to do a trip to the Guardian site, the old good old grind. Um, but I have something in mind for that, because this thing that Salvation built, this giant super weapon that did mm, jack, jack all, well, basically backfire, um, the Proteus Wave, well, if you recall... In the uh, lead up to the Azimuth, there was a little uh, generational or mega ship or whatever called the Hesperus. And when the Hesperus uh, kind of got kiboshed, they sent out a little anaconda known as the Proteus. And they went and found uh, a Guardian site where at that location there's a bunch of like down Thargoids all around the site um, in the trapezium whatever sector. And so I figure it might be interesting to go there. Um, and see what happens. But before uh, going there, I do want to see if I can get um, my relic transmogrified, which you can do at a Thargoid base now. Which means I have to now visit a Thargoid cross ship to get a Thargoid sensor. It's like, you, you want to do one thing in Elite, and there's 16 things that you need to do in order to do the one thing that you want. That's just, that's just how this works. Thargoids ate my dog! Well, how was it? Delicious? It's like Thargoids left a review of uh, on Urban Spoon of your your dog. Well, I hope that's not all. I hope that's all. That's all they did. Poor puppy. It'll be interesting to see what Johnny Watts, the new CEO of FDev Enterprises Incorporated, makes of all of this. Yeah. So, I, who is this Johnny Watts? Like, what kind of? Who is he? I, I don't know. I never heard of this guy before. Look at that, you can see the Proteus Cannon from space. That's so freaking cool. That is the coolest thing ever. Okay, more of this frontier. I like it. Oh my god, it's huge. Kind of looks like um, a sombrero. It's so nice. With sails and tequila. Mmm. Or salsa, salsa. Salsa. And, and mezcal and mm -hmm. beote. Muchas gracias, senor. That's the, I don't know much Spanish, but I just I got back from uh, Mexico and it's like okay, um, all you need to know is uh, si gracias no gracias. <laughs> uh, I said that a lot. You're walking down the street, people are like, uh, hey, you want this? Uh, no gracias. You sure? I got I got what you need, man. Tequila, weed, coke, ladies, sombreros. It's just like a non-stop uh, barrage of. Uh, Hey, buy my shit. It was a great trip, Ray. It was really, really awesome. Um, I had never been to Mexico before. I'm very, very glad I went. I will go back. I went to a lot of cenotes. Did some, like, battle weapons. Uh, I did some, like, uh, cave cenotes and open cenotes. And uh, uh, went to Chichen Itza, which I think was... I think, to me, I'm still trying to figure out, like, what was the highlight of the trip? And I think Chichen Itza might be it, because... 
It's so damn impressive. It's so cool to see. The, okay, so we already did this one. I wish these ship log uplinks were kind of like numbered. Uh, okay, this one over here. Let's just fit in between. The, don't mind. Excuse me. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm trying to do this very quickly because I know there's going to be company, and I do not have the uh, shutdown field neutralizer on this bad boy. So, uh oh. Okay, boost and flight assist off. At least he won't be able to kill me if I'm spinning un out of control <laughs> in one direction. I, so I didn't do any drugs, you know? It's like, yeah, they were offering me like all kinds of drugs in Mexico, but I was like, I don't know, man. I got an all-inclusive, so it's like, I I'm just gonna drink a lot of tequila. And I drank a lot of tequila. From, you know, like, you know, mostly quote-unquote wholesome uh, experience or whatever. Yeah, so Chichen Itza is this giant, massive temple. Um, and there was some really cool stuff about it that I didn't know. Like, if you clap near it, like, the thing is, like, first of all, it's astronomically uh, designed. Uh, <laughs> astronomically aligned uh, to the equinox. And um, it's also, like, acoustically a megafire. Basically, if you clap... Near Chichen Itza, you hear the sound of a bird come out of the caverns. Like they, they, they understood how to build things to like make certain sounds. Absolutely incredible. We'd be standing there clapping, and you would hear a sound like an echo coming from the structure uh, that was like, um, uh, like a bird call. It, it and that was just mind-boggling. Just blew my mind. Just blew my mind. And it makes me think, you know, maybe. No, no it wasn't all inclusive of drugs. Just your tequila and, well, what? Oh, I had a lot of different types of drinks. Cerveza, which is beer. Um, but I'll tell you, man. Uh, yeah, like, when I think about it, too, it's like, okay, if the Mayans could design structures that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to, like, use the ship log uplink as a. As maybe a shield? No, no. Um, but if the Mayans could design... Oh, I've already accessed that one. Uh, next. If the Mayans could... If I could just, like, finish the sentence. Uh, if the Mayans could design a structure that... Oh, no, 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 again! Oh, this is difficult. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, that's the bad one. That's the, that's the Hydra. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, this courier is, like... Um, yes, that is the one with the snake shadow. That the snake. So this was really interesting. About, this is so hard to like try and talk about like Mayan culture while I'm like. Uh, it's not Aztec ruins. Aztecs were the um, uh, Montezumas. Uh, they did go to war uh, with the uh, the Mayans and, and the Spanish, of course. Oh, I'm at thirteen percent call. Um, oh, look at those little uh, point defense systems doing their doing the Lord's work. Yeah, Dark if you could just be like Operation Distraction there. I got 2% hull. This might not work out. But maybe I can get one more uplink. Unknown, unknown, unknown. Ship log uplink. Okay. Please don't. Please let me scan one more. I'm gonna try. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no! Uh, so anyway, yeah, so the, the snake is what they saw as like this um, shape-shifting god that kind of came from the sky and controlled the, uh, the weather or whatever. This is interesting. So the Mayans had this prophecy about this, the, the snake god descending, uh, coming down upon them, and transforming into a man. A tall white man with a beard, with a long gray beard. And this, this is where the guide came in with a very interesting story. And he said this is kind of stuff that's like... Um, generally accepted but hasn't really got out there is that when you think about it the Vikings the Vikings were visiting the Mayans and when they showed up in their boat in the Viking boats if you played Valheim then you know you, you know you know this is accurate because um, you know Valheim is accurate representation of Vikings um, they showed up in their long boats with giant carved snake heads on the front and then the snake would transform anthropomorphize into a man as a tall, white, bearded man would get out there, and to them it was like a god. And the, the Vikings taught the Mayans how to how to sail, 
and were revered as gods. And the Mayans basically then had this prophecy that, oh yeah, the tall white men who taught us how to sail will one day come back and, and you know, sort of, um, you know, give us all the, the goodies and whatnot. Um, and that's really interesting because we know that the Vikings found North America before long before Christopher Columbus. There are like Viking ruins and stuff in um, uh, Eastern Canada, like uh, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland and stuff. But yeah, they went the Sea People. And the Egyptians also have a myth about the Sea People. Sounds a lot like the Vikings. Man, those Vikings got around. Really cool. But I thought that was that was really cool to learn and to think about. And it's like, yeah, their, their representation of the snake comes from the sort of uh, um, the longboats of the Vikings would have these snake carvings um, on the head. And so if the Mayans were seeing these, these Vikings landing on the beach, they see this giant wooden snake land on the beach and then these tall, gray-bearded white people get out of it, right? And it's like, okay, that, that, that makes a lot of sense. And that's where a lot of that, you know, Mayan mythology came from. I learned a lot. I learned information. Oh, by the way, hold on. Actually, before we, uh, let's just read this. Okay, so <clears throat> this log says, hey, it's been a while, but I wanted to send you a quick message. Shame you aren't at home. This is like someone's personal diary. I know I haven't been in touch. We've just been busy with, well, if you've been watching the news feeds, you know what's going on. I've been in HIP blah, 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 for a few weeks now, and there hasn't been much downtime. I guess you've heard that excuse before, though, huh? This guy's like a deadbeat dad emailing his kid or something. Uh, listen, I wanted to say sorry. When this is over, assuming Salvation's plan work, I'll take some time off, come visit, if that's okay with you. Um, yeah, I hope you're doing well. Say a prayer for us if you get a chance. That's very, um, that's very John Jameson. It feels very John Jameson to me. It's just like, hey, son, uh, I, I wish, I, I know we were, I was supposed to take you to the ball game, but I'm out here kind of like, you know, committing genocide and all that sort of stuff. Maybe, maybe we'll catch up later. Oh, man, this is cool. I'm so glad to be, like, in Elite Dangerous, looking at stuff that's new and exciting and very difficult. I seem to be getting, like, one ship log uplink before dying each time. Okay. Um, back to the Bright Sun. I want to get them... Ooh, there's also Overlook. Overlook, if you went here... Um, before and this was during like that that the sort of lead up in earlier in the Azuma saga, um, Overlook would immediately fire on you. Like there was no they, they did not have around. Like you just drop in, they, they would shoot you to the sky. Um, but I think it was destroyed even before. Like as the the sort of Thargoid combat was happening in the, in the last couple weeks, I think Overlook was already destroyed. But I wonder if there's anything new there. I mean, let me put it this way: for for the sake of science, we got to check it all out. We got we got to see it with our own eyes. Don't believe what they tell you on the forums, people. The forums are full of salt. Wow, this is super cool. Okay, so Bright Sentinel. I, I definitely want to see those capital ships, and I'm really curious about these debris fields. Like, what, what are they going to be? Just like little battle sites? Are they going to be, or are they going to be trinkets to be discovered? And then after we've uh, investigated this system, we'll head to, uh, whatchamacallit, a Thargoid site. And see what's new there. But this is super cool. I think a lot of people, um, update 13 or whatever they're calling it, um, the aftermath update, I guess, would be, I guess the most appropriate. Um, this is kind of like, I think a lot of people are going to come back to Elite over this. And... It's a good time to come back if, if you haven't been playing um, since the beginning. Like, if you were disappointed in Odyssey initially, which a lot of people were, frame rate issues, bugs, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Um, a lot of that's sorted now. A lot of that's doing, a lot of that's doing okay. Like, I'm getting pretty smooth performance. And, uh, yeah, if you're going to come back, come back now. And update 13, like, it wasn't just the Azimuth Saga. Like, there were a lot of little bug fixes in it. I think the big headline for me was... Uh, the whole fixing of the CQC. On, no, honestly, the one that really was driving me nuts was not being able to look at your side panels when you were uh, in a station menu. And that's sorted now. Now you can do that again. And that makes me happy because you do that a lot. <laughs> like CQC, as much as I'm glad they fixed it uh, for the seven people that still play it, um, I don't play that much of it anymore. And mainly because the matchmaking is difficult. And then if you do get 
matched, you get matched with like the seven people who play it, and they are really, really good, and so all you do is just die over and over again. Um, but I, I'm still glad that they fixed it, because CQC, I, I still think, is one of the um, huge untapped um, potentials of the game. All right, we gotta get these ship log up links, man. I'm gonna have to be very uh, maneuvery. Maybe I should put a field neutralizer on this thing, because those those are really taking up my time, and oh my god. That, that just looks cool every time I see it. I just want to go stare at that cool-looking thing. Okay. Uh, let's get in here quick. We gotta do our thing. Now, I wish there was some sort of indicator that would show me... Um, which of the ship log uplinks I've already scanned? Okay, these are all like. Okay, uh, how about you? Oh my. See, flying in a small ship, it does become a little bit of like. Oh yeah, this this courier's got some drift. All right, you gotta get real close to these guys. Come on, come on, scanner. Yeah, I know, out of range, out of range. Okay, 200 meters, like that's... Okay, this one's already done. I need a different one. And I need to get it, like, now before Thurgy Boys come. Ooh, I like the dingus of this. I like the, the sort of, the thrill and the rush. It's like, I gotta get in, get out. There's no more, like, uh... Oh yeah, just, just, just let them attack those NPCs. Okay, that one's already done, too. Uh, am I just going back and forth on the same two ones that I've already scanned? There needs to be something to keep track of these, uh, uh Linky Boys. Like, usually, like, they would say something like, ah, ship log uplink one, two, three. Okay, this one, this one is scanning. Okay, we got a new one. Okay, and then there should be one more. Okay. And I don't see any Thargy Boys yet. Yet. So maybe, maybe we're gonna get all these ship log uplinks and have a chance to check out what else is here. Didn't Burr say there are 30 audio logs in this video? Oh my god. Yeah, actually, I, did, I haven't watched the Burr Pit one. I saw uh, a little bit of Ghost Draft stream, a little bit of... Oh yeah, look at that. I got them all. Okay, what else we got here? Nerve Agents, Black Ops. Ooh, Guardian Orb. Uh, mechanical Equipment. Ooh, some very nice uh, material grind if you have the... Uh, Ability. Guardian Orb. Oh, wait, hold on. I see a red thing. I see a red thing. Frameshift Anomalies. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of different scattered stuff here. Uh, but I think it's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Back to Super Cruise. We're turning play assist off. We're boosting away just in case we get hit by the, uh, the Thargoid. Thargordius cannon. The Thargordius wave. Looks like we're okay. Oh man, yeah, the Thargoids do not want us here anymore. We have really pissed them off. Yeah, I gotta watch the Burr Pit one uh, later. Alright, um, let's check out Overlook, because that's nearby. And actually, hold on. While we're in Super Cruise... Okay, so... What else we got? The time of our victory is almost here. My journey has been long. Too long, I think. Is this Salvation himself? I am likely the oldest ever living human. The fortune I have spent on cell regeneration and bionic replacements to keep my physical form intact, well, it would make even a serious accountant weep. Every single credit was worthwhile, though. The investments have allowed me to witness this moment. To be our salvation. Well, <laughs> you carved that one up, dude. Um, the Thargoids are an ancient race, too blind to realize their time has passed. Over the centuries, I have admittedly found a grudging respect for them. The creatures are equally intelligent and ruthless. Okay. But they lack the ambition and endless potential of humans. I have given my life to ensuring the crown is finally snatched away from them. We are now the dominant species in the galaxy. Okay. And then, ooh, Commander Halloran. So I, I have, uh, this is the, the commander of the, uh, the Bright Sentinel. 
So, I've just received word that the Proteus Wave weapon has been successfully installed on the Thargoid surface site. Soon we will initiate the weapon's activation sequence. It will take some time. We need to be wary of any attempt of the Thargoid fleet to interfere with Salvation's plans. Well, there's actually, like, audio. Okay, it's, I, I'll listen to it later. Um, we'll share the coming victory with the people we fight for. Every loved one of the millions lost to Thargoids, we will witness our revenge, revenge in real time. Uh, well, you all know your duties. We've drilled them a dozen times over. Don't let the waiting audience distract you. Make me proud, okay? Don't get, don't put your marmalade in the Proteus cannon, Jerry. Now, if you missed it, if you're just joining the stream, I did make a little fake intro <laughs> and uh if you uh I, I'll, I'll release it on on the, the boob tubes um after the stream so i wonder if there are any uh uplinks on this guy so overlook yeah that was i think destroyed before the proteus cannon but you never know it's, it's the, the thing about science is you know you got to look in the same place twice just to verify it's always hypothesize and then verify. Who's that on my uh, radar? There's someone else here. In an Imperial Courier. The ship of choice. <coughs> uh, do, 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 this Project Seraph. Okay, so this is like, I think, old news. This is old. Well, I might as well see them all. I'm gonna give this guy an 07 just to let him. Oh, that. Oops. Okay. Yeah, sometimes walls are the best way to stop. You gotta let the, let, let the people know you're friendly with a little shout out. Uh oh, here we go, here we go. Energy search detected. Let's, uh. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, maybe he won't see me here. I'm kind of camouflage. I can't even see me here. What's that? There's still some light on here. And like green, green lights. Uh oh. Oh man, this is like screenshot heaven. Oh yeah, yeah. Who's, he sees me. He sees me. Um. Excuse me, Mr. Goid. Please stop shooting. Oh my God, my my hull is going down so quickly, so quickly. Oh my God. How? How? DH8 isn't supposed to die. F for DH8. Everyone's giving you F, Stark Heavy. It's okay. I think right now, uh, I expect that we're going to be dying a lot. Uh, Ray, Ray, you said you hid your dolphin between the structures. It didn't help a lot. Yeah, it doesn't look like that is a thing. Okay, so this looks like this is all old dudes from Overlook. Nothing particularly new there. What are you saying there, Tiger King? You're saying they removed modules for being of use and called it an update. Well, I mean, the modules are only not useful, I'm assuming, in this um, this system. But I mean, like, well, Tiger King, did you see the planet yet? I can go back and show you the planet, because, like, I think that's a big new content piece. And obviously, I think there's also mysteries. And then, as we'll find out later, you can now transmogrify guardian relics into a new type of object by chucking them into a Thargoid base. And as to what you do with them, no one knows yet. I was watching uh, Down to Earth Astronomy, and this this guy's uh, always on top of the science. Um, he was going around, and he was, um, you know, kind of putting them in his cargo and going to, like, guardian sites. And, like, okay, let's see what happens if I scan an obelisk with this, or... Can I drop it into a Guardian site? Or uh, can I scan a Guardian beacon with this in my cargo? Will I get a special message? Well, um, this is what we do know. And this, this is, I guess, like, whatever, right? Um, spoilers. Um, you get these transmogrified objects, and there are two engineers, which are very known to be interested in Thargoid and Guardian tech, a.k.a. Palin Ramta, will buy these Thargoid sensors, or these Thargoid Guardian relic-y doodahs. Uh, they will purchase them, and they're very grateful for them. So we're going to make a few of them later on um, and take them to the engineers, and that might start a breadcrumb that goes uh, somewhere else. 
Uh, do guardianship launch fighters work? Um, so Ray, that I, I tested that, and basically uh, they do, but like the guardian modules, like you start at 100% health, and then it just starts slowly going down 1% at a time. So uh, they work, and I mean, like if you have enough ship launch fighter bays, then you know you you could you know have endless supply of them. The problem is uh, staying alive long enough to to make use of that, right? But in theory, I, and you know what, I don't know what it would be like if you tried to send your NPC crew out in one, but I assume it's probably just like, just if they get destroyed, it's just like normal. If you bring two fighter bays, then um, you get a little bit more cool stuff. Okay, I'm gonna head to this huge debris field now. I think that's worth taking a peek. So we've got the logs of the Bright Sentinel, or at least we've got four of them. I don't know if there's supposed to be more. And man, yeah, Super Cruise is a little wonky. We got at least one um, one log from Salvation himself. This is cool, and there's lots of lots of lore here, and I like that. See, I prefer like okay, the Galdet stuff is cool to lead you to where you need to go, but I like the idea that like yeah, you go in the system, you find these little beacons, you start piecing the puzzle together, right? This is a cool way to do it. Um, especially cool when there's a million Thargoids coming in and they're angry and they don't want you here. I wonder too, um, so, you know, like, this is the thing. Uh, ship, or at least like a new Thargoid variant. Um, ground-based Thargoid combat. And who was it? I, I, I can't remember who it was that had um, a theory about like, the, the Thargoids are like, abducting the occupied escape pods maybe for the purpose of having like a zombie uh, like a zombie thargoid human army like maybe they're stealing our occupied escape pods and turning them into a zombie army and maybe we'll get some sort of zombie uh foot soldiers uh instead of actual thargoids themselves that could be interesting i can't remember who i saw that theory from but it was really cool um or that the proteus wave might have wake woken up the guardians or at least the guardian ai um, as of right now, ooh, okay. There's a, yeah, th this is quite a large debris field. Ooh, 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 ooh. It looks like, is there both Thargoid and human wreckage in here, or what? That looks Thargoidy. That looks very Thargoidy. Yeah, there is lots of boom boom here. Now, the, is this from the Proteus wave? That's human-y. Is this from the Proteus wave, or is this from, uh... Oops, excuse me. Is this from the Proteus wave, or was this just, like, aftermath from the big combat? Either way, this looks super cool. Can I scan, like, the, the signal source itself? I don't see any contacts here. Lots of dead bodies. This is like what the Tiansala graveyard should look like if they ever decide to actually put that in the game. I wonder if my sensors are even optimized to find everything or if I should just like go around. I'm assuming that anytime you drop out of Super Cruise you're gonna get a time limit before uh, before your, your buddies come. Yeah, frame shift not only detected, there we go, okay. It's time to boogie. So, it looks like there was nothing in the huge one. I'm not going to discount that, though. Like, like Frontier, this is what we know about them. is In part of the um, sort of lead-up to Azimuth, when we found the Hesperus, you know, if you remember, the Hesperus was getting um, salvaged by a dredger. Um, they were hiding it in a belt cluster. Maybe it's worth checking out these belt clusters. Yeah, why not? It's right, it's right over there. Actually, hold on. Is there anything close to me that I should check out? No, not really. I also want to see the capital ships. And then I think it's worth probably looking at a couple of these different debris fields. Yeah, Boomy, you're, uh, the, yeah Boomy's right. Basically, they start degrading once you launch them. Which is interesting, because, like, my modules are in my ship. The ship launch fighter is in my ship. Like, should they not all just start degrading equally? But I guess it's kind of like the game probably doesn't, like... Have, 
like the way I always think about ship launch fighters is like they manufacture the fighters, right? So they're like building the new ones. So like you can't fit 16 fighters in a crate. There's just not enough room. So they, they have like all the pieces and, and they get assembled kind of on the go. So maybe that's the maybe that's why they don't get um, degraded until after you launch them. But okay, I'm gonna check these belt clusters just because. Well, we know the Hesperus was hidden in a belt cluster, which means they can hide things in belt clusters. It's worth uh, it's worth a look see. And we got to keep an eye out for gankers. The Thargoids aren't the only enemies in this uh, in this great wide world we call space. Space Dangus. Yeah, we'll check out a few de debris fields. Check out the... Oh, there's the other megaship. You should go there. There's definitely going to be logs there. And maybe, maybe we can scan them all. Maybe if you scan them all, you get a prize. I wonder where this is going to go, though. Like, what... When they say um, the Azimuth saga has concluded, the aftermath has begun... What, what is after the aftermath? What does the after aftermath look like? Well, I guess we'll have to find out. Now, this is not the big narrative update. Um, I actually was kind of confused on that, but apparently there is... Um, I don't know if it's update 14 or 15 or whatever, but in... I think it's September. They were talking about a big narrative update. I thought it was this one, but no, this is like minor narrative update. Which makes you think like... What the heck is coming? What is this leading us to? I mean, in all honesty, this is not the hugest update, you know. Um, we've got a cool ground site. We've got some new th Thargoid behavior. What did that ship computer say to me? Okay, we got... Looks like nothing here. Okay. So asteroid fields, maybe not, maybe not, uh, maybe not worth checking out the other ones. <laughs> I'm sure that by now, Cannon's probably checked out everything, and uh, if there was truly something there, we would know about it. But yeah, can you imagine, you're sitting out in Mexico, knowing that this is happening, and just like, you know, I've played Elite for like, what has it been, seven years? Like, I'm pretty sure when I started playing, it was 3301. And now it's 3308. That's seven years. And to be like, how, be this invested in a, in, a, in a universe for seven years, and then the one week where you decide, well, kind of last minute, to, to do a vacation in Mexico, and you're, you're there trying to disconnect from the world, don't even look at your phone on the beach, and then you know that, like, shit's going down. Man, it was, uh, I, I had to really kind of like, uh, try, try to like turn it off to not be, um, kind of going crazy. Because this is cool. This is, this is, this is, this is what the kind of update that I think, if we had had three updates like this, like if Odyssey had launched Stable, and they had had the resources to be launching content like this, I think it would have been a very different story for Elite over the last year. But if this is the kind of trajectory, if this is the kind of stuff that Frontier is going to come out with from now forward, I think it's going to bring a lot of people back. Back in the saddle. Back from the, the citizen verse. Which I have to admit, I'm, I'm eager to um, poke my head into that universe again pretty soon. But, uh, well, priorities. No Man's Sky as well. That's another one where, uh, damn, those guys have just been killing it with updates. Just update after update of endless content. And it's like, it's been sort of like this, you know, like, you, 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 you're you hearing the story. Oh, my God. Like, what else did they add to No Man's Sky? Oh, I should really go play that. Nah. <laughs> I don't know what it is about No Man's Sky that has me, like, like... I don't know. I'm not. I'm not like invested in it. I don't know because maybe the universe itself is kind of this weird pastel fever dream. I'm not sure what it is about No Man's Sky that like because I like base building. I enjoy space. I enjoy weird planets that are made out of you know like riding. You can ride a bubble creature. You can feed animals, collect their poop. 
really cool, like <laughs> the level of detail. Um, and now there's a million other things that you can do, because uh, they've just been jamming. For some reason, I just haven't logged into No Man's Sky in probably like, I don't know, eight, nine months, ten months? But if we could get the kind of like No Man's Sky style updates in Elite, oh my god. That would be the, that would be the day. That would make me a very happy spatula. Alright, let's see what's here. Large debris field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hazardous environment. Yeah, as if you can't tell from all the pieces of dead things. Okay. Uh, not seeing anything other than, well, all these little chunky bits. Excuse me. Coming through. I wonder if you can scan any of these if you just get up close. They kind of look like, uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, we've never really seen um, the inside of Thargoids. Like, maybe this is kind of giving us a sneak peek under the hood. What does a Thargoid look like on the inside? There's a big chunk. What you got in there? Because I've always wondered, is there a little pilot in there, right? Like, is there a little pilot seat? Now that the cockpit glass is no longer there. I mean, like, is this the Thargoid, or is this the sort of the organic vessel that the Thargoid in, sits in, right? I don't know. Like, maybe, just maybe, we'll find, like, you know, if you spend long enough on these things coming through the little debris, maybe you'll find a little dead Thargoid body or something. I mean, that's that's another uh, morbid fantasy of mine, is, you know, you find these occupied escape pods everywhere, but I would love to see little tiny bodies, little human bodies. <laughs> I know it's super morbid, but I would love to see them. You know, you're going through this area and it's just little tiny people. And maybe they go splat on your windshield. Little Thargoid nugget there. Okay, so there's nothing here in this signal source. At least nothing I can detect with my sensors. Unless those have been disabled. They're not Guardian, are they? Oh, wouldn't that be a, a an interesting revelation where it's like, oh yeah, like our frameshift drives are like part guardian. You didn't even know it. Okay, time to go. Time to boogie. Back to Super Cruise. We got incoming. Alright, I'm getting the hang of this. Just get in get the heck out. Uh, okay, and then there's small debris fields. So let's see. Maybe there's something in one of these. I mean... If I were Frontier, I would put a bunch of, like, red herring signal sources. People check out one, they're like, oh, it's going to be the same. These could also be RNG, RNG-E, in the sense that, like, maybe you drop in and there's a chance to spawn something. Oh, it's a little tiny one. Aw, oh, a little tiny graveyard. Anything on the sensors? No. Nothing on the radar. Yeah, looks like, uh, what do we got here? We got chieftain bits. That looks like a chieftain. Ooh, internal organs of the Thargoids. Is that the Thargoid spleen? It's actually kind of cool. It looks like intestines. Looks like a kind of calamari in a way. Ew. It's all gooey on the inside. So I'm not finding anything at these uh, debris sources other than trouble. Yeah, 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 I see you, I see you. Oh, yeah, okay. What's that? Oh, I think that's like, he, he come. Okay, yeah, that's a scout. Uh, okay, run away, run away. Scoozy. Are they chasing me? All right. Okay, so we check this place, which is what? Uh, the 4B, so don't go back to 4B. We have seen everything we need to see there. Let's check out one of these uh, uh, capital ships. Cause I, when I, during the, uh, the lead up to this event, I was doing a lot of the uh, Xeno combat at these capital ships. Because they were super cool. I mean, I, I hope that this 
we get some more events that involve Thargoid fights at capital ships, because that was a lot of fun. <clears throat> Just absolute madness. And it was kind of cool, an escalation, where it's like, okay, shoot a bunch of scouts, then a Cyclops comes, then another Cyclops comes, then a Basilisk, then a Hydra. And some of these Hydra fights, man, like, there'd be, like, 18 players, 18 commanders there, uh, just constantly shooting these things. They lit up like a, lit up like a Christmas tree on crack. And, um, yeah, um, it still took, like, an hour to kill them. <laughs> like, if you thought Hydras are bad, I wonder what the heck Frontier is in the pipeline. Like, what's the next level up? What's the more dangerous variant from a Hydra? And will we ever get to see it? I mean, I, I feel like this is kind of the turning point where I feel like Odyssey when it launched, okay, cool, we put out new content. There's a whole load of basically like you grind stuff to do. And then it was like bug fixes, optimization, bug fixes, optimizations. Oh yeah, we fixed this issue, crash, uh, people are crashing, frame rates, blah, 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 blah. And now we're actually getting a different type of update, something with content. And it, now I really feel, and I I, I, I feel, you know, like this is, a da this is the more dangerous thing to say. My, my hopium drive is like being refueled a little bit. And of course that is like, uh, that you are asking for trouble if you, <laughs> if you get your hopium too high. But, um, this is cool. This is the kind of stuff I want to see. It's like, hey, there's something new, something to check out. Man, I want. To, I just want to go back to that planet and get screenshots of that big green bloopy guardian nonsense. I'm hearing weird super cruise noises. Oh, that's in the Tocoso sound. I got Tocoso playing in the background, so it's like uh, he uses sometimes like uh, the sound effects in the game or in his music. And it's like when you're playing Elite, and uh, like if you listen to like John Jameson or whatever, and you're driving around the SRV, and the intro has kind of like SRV sounds, it's creeped me out on a couple occasions when you're driving at night on a planet side, and then you just hear like another SRV, and you're like, "Am I being followed?" No, no, wait, that's just the, just what I'm, just the music. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, chemical manipulators. Me needs, me need this, me need this. Uh, okay, let's just get that set up and then just look at what else we have. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, look at all the materials. Okay. All right. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I smacked into that. My bad, my bad. Um, I wasn't paying attention. Because, like, there's so much here. Oh, my God. I, I really need these, though. I really freaking need these. From and just smearing. Okay, come back, little one. Don't run away. And for, I should, probably should have put collector limpets on this thing. Yeah, okay, if you want to come here with collector limpets, there is a lot of fun stuff for you to take. Heat veins, I think I need those too. Oh, oh, oh. Engineer me, little Thargoids. Look at that. That's a cool little piece of debris. I'm not even, like, looking at the capital ship anymore. I'm just like... Give me the engineer stuff. Loot, 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 loot. Uh oh, I hear I hear angry boy coming. Okay, get your get your heat veins. That looks like a Thargoid probe, but no, no, it's probably not. Did I get it? I did. I did. I did. Now the cool thing about those heat veins is like, okay, we turn fly assist off. We boost. Yep, okay. At least we boosted. Let's take a look. Yeah, man. Oh, that looks cool. Ooh, yeah. Okay, and that's a Hydra. Okay, he doesn't seem to be going after me. He's, like, going to check out that capital ship. It almost looks intact from this distance, but obviously it's not. You did this. You did this to yourself. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I know there's a Hydra there, but maybe... What's he doing? Yeah, what is he doing? He looks like he's scanning something. 
Maybe if I just stick far enough away we can observe his weird goity behavior. Let's just stick out of his sensor range. I wonder, do people even know what the sensor range is? Yeah, what's he doing? He's scanning something. Can I zoom in? What's he doing? I think he's scanning the dead ships. Maybe looking for signs of life? I mean, usually, um, the Thargoids do like to do this, and they look for occupied escape pods, meta alloys, that kind of thing. Oh boy, here comes another one. Uh, oh, he behind me. Okay, I'm just gonna do a blast through and try to just keep my eye on my contacts menu. Let's just see what else be here. Oh god, another energy surge. Okay, where'd all the materials go? Did you eat them? Oh yeah, he's mad. He saw me. Uh-oh. Bye. <laughs> um, is he following? Oh god, I think he's following. Oh yeah, he's, he's, he's following. That's not good. That's not good. Uh-oh. Uh, we'll just be moving on from here. I didn't see any, uh, ship logs. Where'd all those materials go, then? Maybe, maybe you go far enough away. I kind of feel like I still want to check a couple of these debris fields, so I'm gonna do that next. And I wonder, too, um... Like, it's possible there are many space battles. Maybe some debris fields are on planets, and maybe if you get close enough down to a planet, that could be another uh, avenue to look at. We need to look at this from all angles. If I were a Braven, and I was trying to hide the key to Roxla, where would I put it? Oops. Again, not paying attention. Let's just drop in on this small debris field, see what we got here. What you got for me? You lurking, Ray? All good. Lurking and working. Twerking. Okay. Don't see anything here. So yeah, these small debris fields do not look like... Oh, hello. That's a scout. There was a scout. Doesn't look like there's anything really here. You know what be cool is if you could use like your research limb bits on the dead tissue and get like necro... Zombie Thargoid tissue. Ooh, they're already coming. Damn, okay. Run away, run away. Frame shift inhibited by a factor of 30. Ooh. That's a big one. Uh, must, must go faster. Before he fires his own little surge. Ah, excellent. Just in the nick of time. Oh, I wonder if. We'll be able to see the uh what would happen if you got surged right as you go into super cruise okay so my thought is let's try the heart of taurus because i feel like the, the capital ships are obviously all going to be boom boomed <clears throat> the debris fields do not seem to have anything uh, notable inside of them. But, at the uh, Bright Sentinel, we found ship logs. So, I'm assuming that there's going to be more at the Heart of Taurus. And then, the next logical thing might be to check out... Where the heck was the Mushashi part? I think that was just one system over. And I wonder if that is still there. And functional. And if not, does it have more lore? And what will these breadcrumbs lead us to? This is the other thing, is where the heck is Salvation? Now, if you guys watched it, and if you haven't logged in yet, uh, you get a little cutscene when you log in. And it shows Salvation giving his little speech. I did my uh, modified version at the beginning of this stream. I'll uh, let you guys see that once uh, the stream is over. I'll upload it to my YouTube. But uh, Salvation is not on the Bright Sentinel. He was not on that megaship. He was in orbit of that planet, but he was on a fleet carrier. 
And if you look very, very, very closely at the uh, screen, I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's, uh, yeah, there's no fleet carriers here. Um, but if you look very, very closely, it's a fleet carrier named Nemesis. So I wonder, is Salvation dead? Did he get away? Um, I'm assuming that they're probably not going to kill him off at this stage. Like, the Azimuth story arc has quote-unquote completed in, the, in terms of like leading up to the Proteus Cannon being fired and that being a failure, but I feel like we're not, we haven't heard the last of Salvation. I think he's going to be kind of like the Dr. Claw to our Commander and Inspector Gadget. <laughs> well, I'll get you next time, Thogoids. I have a feeling we'll, we'll we're, we're not done with um, we're not done with Caleb Witcherly. You gotta keep an eye out too, because sometimes um, sometimes you actually see um, some things in Super Cruise only when you are close to them. Like like certain um, what was it a makeshift or something? They would only show up within a thousand light seconds, so you'd have to kind of go to the planet before they would show up. Um, even on these little system maps, so... Frontier does like to be sneaky and hide things like that. And then, like, I don't know how these people find him, man. It's literally just a brute force search of just, like, yeah. We know 2,000 people who are willing to literally check every single planet. Like, back in the day, what was it, barnacles or whatever? To find those sort of things. Like, you literally had to just, like, go over a planet, super glide down there, and then just fly. And keep an eye on the ground. And... Sip your coffee, watch your Star Trek, and just hope that... see okay I think it's working it could be working can you see can, can you see um, you saw the bio break card okay that's a good sign are we live can you hear me it's a bit stuttery yeah it looks like the, the Thargoids are attacking my bandwidth they have truly evolved new techniques. I think we're okay. It seems to be on the track. My Discord is not live, though. This is... This is, uh... Interesting. The Thargoids have come for my internets. Let me just reload this. Um... 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 I don't know if it's working. You see me? You see me? Am I okay? Do we do we do it? It might be low bandwidth, but it, it'll pass. I, I think uh, jittery. Yes. Okay. We're jittery. I wonder if you're just like parked in super cruise or parked in like normal space at no signal source. Did the goody boy? Where were we going? Heart of Taurus. Like really low KBs. The kilobeats. Kilobeats. Okay. Seems okay. Okay. The Thargoids have evolved their tactics. They are coming after our internets. While I jump into Super Cruise, I'm going to try and restart the Discord. I've lost uh, Dark Heavy. Not sure if bandwidth... 
Like, why would the stream be working and then, like, the Discord would not? Something's going on. Yeah, I don't know. It, 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 my internet can be weird a little bit. Um, it does this for, like, little blurps of time. Oh, no, my KBs are crashing again. No! Why you do this? Okay. Technicales. I just go into the settings here. Yeah, I'm bottoming out at zero. Um, booga booga. Do do do. Uh, I, I think it just like. Okay, is it back now or is it like not back now? Because it it shows not back now. Or it shows like the bad thing. I don't want to go to Heart of Taurus if I'm not live. Um, oh, it opens the widget. Um, stream, do you work now? I've got like two kilobytes a second. Okay, there's something going on. Buffers a lot even after reload. Yeah, the the issue is not you, Ray. It's it it's it's definitely me. Definitely on my end. I must type to communicate because I don't know if it's like coming on. I'm being bandwidth bandwidth attacked. The Thargoids are, um, what do you call it when you like uh, DNS? I'm getting DNS'd by the, uh, the Thargoids. I just see my, my kilobytes are in like the red. Red is no good. Red is bad. When Thargoids turn red, they don't like you. And they don't, they certainly don't like me right now. It kind of looks like it's coming back, but like, I'm not sure. By the power of Braben, may the internet come back. Please, please don't, don't do this to me, Thargy boys. This is such an exciting day. It looks like it's kind of back. It might look a little stuttery for a while. I guarantee you, it, it will pass. Though again, I, I, I'm not able to get back on Discord. It's like, all the bandwidth I, I have right now, I'm using, I'm good at all I got, Captain! We've got marmalade in the circuits, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think, okay, can you tell me, it, it, do, do you hear me now? Am I live now? It seems to be like live, but like low KBs. But that's better than zero. It's like 2,000 KBs per second. This is like 1996 internet. We've gone back in time to the 80s. We're on the ARPANET now. I should probably upgrade my system. I do have a, a 486 right now running Windows 3.1. Um, it looks okay. Can you hear me? Is live? Is alive? The Thargoids have come for our internets. I need. Let me go on Goid Hub. Let me see if Goid Hub is up. Goidhub.com. No, not GitHub. Goid Hub. Um, I think we're live. It's like, just, you know, apparently, okay, so even when uh, the stream stops, the chat works. That's at least nice. That's, it's nice to know something works. <laughs> okay, you can hear me okay. Thank you, Boomy. Okay, so, I apologize for the buffering. Blame Salvation. I blame the Proteus Cannon. All the systems are going wonky today. It's all part of, uh, the aftermath. Okay, dropping it at the Heart of Taurus. And ooh boy, yeah, it's seen better days. Oh yeah. Do we have logs? Do we have logs? Survival equipment, reactive armor. Uh, yep, yeah, we got logs, we got logs. It's funny that the ship uplinks are like floating in space. 
and it's like they're not even attached to ship anymore. Like, how exactly am I getting getting power from them? So the video is in slideshow. Okay, my hope is that, that will approve. Salvation has set humanity back to the back to the 1979 internet. Uh, how many rebuys so far? Um, a lot. <laughs> my internet is rebuying right now. Okay, I am going to get these ship log uplinks. Even if, uh oh, uh oh, frame sh oh, already. Uh, Thargoids are coming for me. Uh, okay, let's go this way. We're looking for more uplinks. There were four by the uh, the other one. Okay, here, there's another one. We're not gonna we're not gonna make it. Uh oh. Oops. 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 Uh oh. Where is he at? Where is he? Is he on the other side of this thing? Boydy boy. I don't see him. Oh, wait, there he is. Okay, he's just in scan mode. Oh, it's a Hydra. Oh no. Oh no. In my mid. It oh god, he's attacking. He's lagging. He's attacking my leg. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the ship log uplink. Hopefully, I am still alive. I have to pay so much attention right now to so many things. Oh god, it's gone again? No! Did it come back just in time to see that? Oh, it's back, eh? <laughs> oh my. That's a... <laughs> leg attacks. This leg is killing me, literally. Literally. Oh my. The perfect time. And my Discord is still not working. There's one part of me that's like thinking, eh, maybe I should take a some time. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hopefully I'm live right now, and I'll be able to look at these logs. So, okay, it looks like I might as well just sit, since the internet is a slideshow right now, I might as well just sit here and read this for a second. So yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying, but Halloran has to know, right? About Azimuth, about Azimuth, these and these things it's accused of, like sabotaging the Alexandria. It's never been proven. Sure, but I heard those logs. It mentions the witch, and if they're right, and Salvation is, who's they? Have you been listening to Aegis propaganda? I'm not saying Aegis is right, but there's just, there's just questions, that's all. Let it go, Nyla. This isn't the time. I guess, I hope we're doing the right thing. So who is Nyla? This is new lore. This is a new character. Nyla. Uh, it didn't work. I don't know how I'm still here. My room's life support is intact, but the ship is finished. Oh, that sucks. He's like in the, in the Titanic. Um... The Thargoids tore us to pieces when they... Damn it, I remember hugging Jefferson when the call came through. We'd stopped them. The captain said so. Salvation did it. And then the power went out, and I ran. I knew something bad was going to happen. Jefferson called after me, and I kept running back, back to my knees. I can see them through the windows. I can't let them take me. I won't let them. I refuse. So the Thargoids are taking our bodies. So that does kind of feel that speculation about the zombie stuff. Um, now, I'm still seeing... Can give it a second here? the internet stabilize, let the goids calm down.